and there we go we are live so hello and welcome to today's live interview where i'm going to be interviewing modest pelican gaming aka jeff go ahead and say hello and give us an introduction of yourself as well <laughs> what's going on champy um my name's jeff like the uh like the meme and like the uh Channing Tatum meme. I like the Channing Tatum meme and yeah, I make gaming content and Hell remind yeah. people to stay, stay hydrated. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, dehydration, the worst thing in life by far, you know, men mental well, illness, de mm -mm. like dehydration. Everyone's crying about war and mental illness and, um, I don't know, starvation and things like that. When really mental, I mean, uh, staying hydrated <laughs> is the issue we should all be concerned about. Absolutely. Fuck everything else. Everything else is meaningless. As long as you've got a bottle of water next to you, you're fine in life. That's right. Absolutely. Alrighty. Well, perfect way to segue into the first question here, which is when you start YouTube, big man. Uh, I started YouTube uh, about three years ago, almost exactly. Um, yeah, doing Battlefield 1 videos. And then, yeah, once I made a joke about if you enjoyed the video, please send Ariana Grande a picture of your dick. And it was like the first joke <laughs> I, I ever made. <laughs> and nice. um, people were like, make more of those jokes. And then I started just slowly transitioning to taking the piss out of everything. So, yeah. I mean, you got to love that shit. Send Ariana Grande a picture of your penis. Did, any, did anyone <laughs> do it? I hope so. I like to think so. <laughs> I like I, to think she got thousands of pictures, but you know, a, a man can dream. No, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, that's that's my wettest dream, you know. That is my that's fucking right. wettest dream. Alrighty. <laughs> well, aside from sending pictures of your penis, Ariana Grande, why'd you start YouTube? What got you into it, big man? <laughs> um. Well, I actually wanted to start YouTube a long time ago, like um, like 10 years ago. And I was playing Modern Warfare 3 or whenever, you know, whenever that was out. And I hit this amazing search and destroy game. And I was like, well, I'm going to upload this to YouTube and become like a Call of Duty sensation. Um, but then the, the file got like, corrupted and I was so annoyed that I just didn't start a YouTube channel. So then, yeah. you know, fast, fast forward to three years ago. And I yeah started started the channel with Battlefield One. I thought if I don't don't do it now, I never will. And yeah, it's been been amazing ever since. Really that's good experience. That's crazy. So you went from ten years ago to three years ago, a seven year gap because of a file corruption. I can't believe it. I know. I was. I definitely let it get to me. That's for sure. <laughs> I, I just fact fact checked myself. Modern Warfare Three only came out in two thousand and eleven. <laughs> but yeah, you get the gist. Right, a, a long time ago, that's the point. So eight years yeah. ago. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> so what, when's that three-year anniversary? It was uh, November 1st, so a couple, few weeks ago now. Oh, okay. Very nice, very nice. Did you do anything special for it, big man? Or... No, it was... uh, <laughs> I, I, did, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> you got to love it when people are celebrating the three-year anniversary. That's right. I mean, maybe I should have, but no, I didn't get around to it. I mean, I, I used to, um, hey, Jibble, how's it going, man? How you doing? I used to, like, in the past, um, I think I used to do that kind of shit, like, make videos celebrating my anime. I've done a few, but, um, like, I've done a few subscriber milestones and stuff. I think yeah. it's cool to do, like, do something different, shake, shake up the content, but, yeah, not, not for everything. I mean, that, that's different when you're celebrating a subscriber milestone instead of celebrating, hey guys, I've been making videos for three years now. <laughs> <laughs> it's my like two months anniversary of, yeah. It's my one day anniversary. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good. Thank you for asking, Jibble. I'm sure Jeff is, is lovely as well, aren't you, big man? Yeah, I'm doing well. Thanks, Jibble. Excellent. I'm good. All righty then, Jeff. So... Aside from this current YouTube channel, you know, when, when you when you tried to start 10 years or sorry, eight years ago, what was that on a separate channel or was that under the identity of uh, Modest Pelican Gaming? Uh, no, Modest Pelican was just three years ago. Um, 
I never actually started the channel. Modern Warfare Three had like a theater that just recorded your games, and oh, okay. I was like, when when I hit when I hit the perfect game, I'll upload it to YouTube and start a channel. So I was just like chasing that perfect game, and I finally hit it, and I was so happy. And then yeah, the file was corrupted. <laughs> was and like, that was it. Developed developed d- depression. Yeah, um, yeah, that was it. Post traumatic stress disorder. God. I still have nightmares about it, to be honest. <laughs> It's your sleep paralysis demon. Yeah, it really is. God. It was awful. That's horrible. Yeah, I'm so sorry to hear that, man. I mean, that's that's I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I've I think I've had file corruptions in my time, and they they've definitely taken a toll. Health. Yeah, at least you didn't not do YouTube for like six years, <laughs> like I did. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's that, there's that, yeah, I mean, it, it didn't get me down that much to not do YouTube. Um, I took it, you can, I took it, I took it really well, <laughs> like, I oh, took yeah. it like a man. You handled it just like met. a fucking champ, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, no problem, man, no problem. I mean, file corruptions, those are, that's just the, the nightmare of any YouTuber, not demonetization, not copyright strikes, none of that, file corruption. <laughs> all right yeah. well i mean we went over this before we started the interview jeff but you know j- just for anyone that may be listening is youtube your full-time job big man uh i love that you're calling me big man i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna keep going <laughs> please please don't stop i love it um yeah youtube is my full-time job so at about may this year i was like spending so much time making you know making videos and wanting to start streaming yeah but also like working a lot in this finance company and i just thought look i'll just take the risk and go full-time youtube because if i don't do it now i'll probably just have to stop because you know i need to pay rent and stuff um so i took i took took a massive financial risk but like thanks to patreon like i've got a lot of legends in my patreon who just support the channel through there right uh, people buy, buying merch and stuff because you know i was really struggling with getting ads on my videos but that really helped me out a lot and then since then though the channel's been growing like sort of like i couldn't even believe how fast it's grown since earlier this year i just feel right. yeah really lucky to have such a good community and fortunately the the risk paid off so yeah full time now and it's it's so much fun i think when i found you you had um Somewhere in the 100k range. I don't remember. I don't remember the exact number. It was somewhere yeah. in there, and that was like, a, like, like we said, it was like six, seven a month. Contact. Now yeah, you're yeah. At fucking like, how many subs? Like 30 something k subs away from 400 thousand. I don't know, man. Something like that. It's sort of a bit surreal, like. I, I just feel lucky to be able to do this full time and seriously lucky to have like th- about my community. Like my community is seriously so legendary, like just all about having a laugh or whatever, which is good. Hey, little biscuit. How's it going, man? How you doing? Um, hey, little biscuit. Do, do you think you'll hit 400 K by the end of the year, big man? Um, I'm really not sure to be honest. Like I just try and focus on enjoying making content and like streaming and, interacting and just like whatever happens with the growth happens right like obviously just you know it's obviously great to see the numbers go up but yeah yeah i remember you little biscuit i always see you for the support man I... um oh yeah <laughs> hey how you do oh hey Dorizo, how's it man how you doing? i'm doing all right just fucking ripping my my signature hey how you doing catchphrase can't fucking believe it <laughs> Good patent that hey, shit. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. yeah, get a copyright on that ASAP. <laughs> Fucking get royalties. Anyone says, "Hey, how you doing?" Didn't Liverpool Football Club try and copyright Liverpool, calling anything Liverpool? That's so. I don't know anything about football, so um. I shot this to try and copyright copyright a whole a whole word. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, uh, oh, hey, Acidic J, how's it going, man? Um, you, you remember that, uh, well, I, I don't know if you know about it, but do you remember that whole, uh, like, Fine Bros thing where they were trying to copyright the word React? Do you remember Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, God, such spastic. Like, how could you, how could you think trying to copyright a word would go down well? Like, that's just insanity. 
I, I, I have no idea. It, it was never going to work. But, I mean, I respect their... They dared to dream, Shampy. Yeah. Oh, you can call me Jesus, by the way. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I, I, love call, I love calling people by, like, their, their game oh, attack. Like, I've got a... My friend, um, Paladin Amber, like her name's obviously Amber, but right. her gamer tag's Paladin Amber. And I just love calling her that because it's like just the most nerdy shit in the world. <laughs> I get you. I get you. I have that feeling with one of my friends. His, uh, his username <laughs> is Zazest, but his name is Sean. But I don't, yeah. I, I don't call him Sean. I call him Zazest. Hello, Bank of America. How's it going? Fucking Bank of, of America is here. The actual official accounts. That's Bank amazing. of America, that's 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 pretty huge. Wells Fargo is better though, you spastic. Okay. <laughs> Ad, Adam Musuta, hello. Does Ninja? Yes, Ninja streams on Mix. Anyways, what I was saying is um. Shit. Oh right, I I call him Zazest and he calls me Shampy. Deep down, I hate it when he calls me Shampy because I really don't like hearing people call me shampy it's just weird you're calling me a shampoo bottle <laughs> um i'm i'm sorry i'm probably probably gonna keep calling you shampy because i just love it hey it's okay i i don't mind it that much but you know just know every time i hear it i die a little bit on the inside um i i know this sounds weird but it just makes me want to say it more oh yeah yeah kill oh. kill you slowly I mean, yeah, I'm I'm fine with it, you know. We, we <laughs> all die it. eventually. Exactly. Need to invest in some new mics. Take a loan from us. We'll charge you the triple the amount you take. Yeah, that's why you're such a shit bank, bank of America. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, that's I, classic. I, I don't know what fucking banks you've got over there in Australia. Barclays, isn't it? Right? Or is that a, yeah, like a UK four. thing? I think that's the uk thing we've got like four big banks uh, okay i probably yeah. don't know any of them if you name them <coughs> you might know nab they're in the, they're in the uk as well don't know any uh damn papa pelly really is getting an interview yes hello eat happy pills did you tweet the stream out or some shit yeah i tweeted it out nice thank you man hello big oh, big it. smoke I got you. What's going on, Happy Pills and Big Smoke? Barclays what? is a Lloyd's, HSB, NatWest. Are those all UK banks or are those um Australian banks? I think they're UK. I love that this is turning into like a financial discussion. Like we're just trying to nail out which banks are in which <laughs> which location. It's, <laughs> it's perfect though, because you used to be a financial advisor. I did, yeah. Yeah. Can you can you teach me how to properly handle my finances? Can you yeah, a quick just run down, big man. Well, <laughs> make sure you put some away for retirement. Okay. You can um, I'd probably honestly just start selling crack. Like it's a repeat <laughs> business market. That's not a bad idea, um, actually. Yeah, it's the it's the it's the it's. I mean, it's. It's, there's risks attached to it, but any risky investment um, mm -hmm. is going to have a, a bigger yield. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. You might, yeah. Might, might as well start selling fucking cocaine and heroin while I'm at it. Well, it's, it's got a history of working out, so yeah, why not? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, you're not wrong. I mean, if this is what you're advising your clients, you must have been stellar. Yeah, I got into a bit of legal trouble, but they, they made bank. <laughs> I mean, you know, that, that's to be expected. People just can't handle the hard truth to sell elite substances to make it in the There is no other yeah. way. The other thing you can do is just actually start trafficking people. But I mean, again, oh, a lot of risks right. attached. A lot, more, a lot more variables. Like, are they going to spit at you? Are they going to try and bite you? But I mean, have fun with it. It can be very lucrative. Yeah, I mean, you know, you got to take risks, dead man. That's what, yeah, that's what, what, what it's about. When is Papa Pelly releasing other bottle merch? Are you releasing your own brand of one? I, I really have plans to do that, yeah. <laughs> for sure. Oh, I got a <laughs> sub, I think? Oh, thank you for the sub, Eat Happy Pills. I... That's, that's fucking Hell epic. Yeah. So, like, a, 
on Nestle or, or Zephyr Hills, that kind of shit. Alternative, it's just called, I, I don't know. What, 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 what brand name are you? Um, I, I actually haven't given that thought yet about the exact brand name. Oh. Just like Modest Pelican Drinking or something. To mm. stay, stay, stay in brand with the, the YouTube channel, I think. Absolutely. I mean, it's the most logical thing to do. Where's the yep, plant like... belly? Sorry, I cut you off, man. Oh, so, so, so Gekka, he comes to my Twitch stream. He's ah, a legend. Yes. I, I saw he comes that. to the Twitch yeah. stream every yeah. time and he donates like a few dollars for me to kiss this plant I have. Mm. Well, unfortunately, he's not visible, so he can't give me money. <laughs> That. <laughs> yeah i'm basically like some sort of escort for kissing plants like i'm like a cheap hooker <laughs> who just kisses a plant for money it's sort of beautiful but yeah i i, I love that shit. That, that that is kind of like do you think he's got a fetish i i don't know he's i just love it though it's like the highlight of my stream i want to look into that Make out plants. And... <coughs> he said no fetish, no. but I'm having my doubts. <laughs> I mean, I don't. Just like it's know. like just it's just like banter. Like it started um started as a joke, and now it's become like I don't know. It's like more consistent than like any parent ever was to me. Like every stream, he's there, <laughs> just fucking smashing it out. Now that's that's rough. That's rough. I I I had a great mum. She was amazing. Yeah, my mom pretty great too. Moms are epic. Most of them. And most I know. If you want to just make your mom's day, just send her a text saying, I love you, mom. And it will just like make her weak. I am. Um, wholesome I, advice uh, right there. That, that was pretty wholesome. I, I can just go up to her and tell her. I don't have to text her. Uh, a bit of an odd flex, I know. But, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. I can tell your mum for you if you like. <clears throat> oh, oh, that'd be. Thank you so much. <clears throat> That's all right. I got you. How about how about daddy? Now daddies are cool, right? <laughs> yeah, they're cool. Getting some mommy Hell and daddy yeah. love in here. <laughs> Gotta respect your parents. Absolutely. There's nothing more, nothing more gangster than respecting your parents. Fuck yeah, brofist to all the parents out there. <laughs> Anyways, let's segue away from, uh, you know, brofist parents to uh, the next question I've got for you, man. So, to follow up the question I had asked a few minutes ago, um, so since YouTube is your full-time job, how do you manage to balance whatever else you do in life, you know, I'm, I'm not activities you do, uh, with your YouTube channel? Because I always like to ask that, because uh, I'm not even a full-time YouTuber, but... uh. You know, I struggle with balancing the channel with other things. So, do you have any yeah. advice on that? Um, well, when I was working full-time and doing YouTube, like, also full-time, I didn't even have, like, one one minute to myself. Like, it was just so busy. And, I, you know, I loved what I was doing with the YouTube stuff. But at the same time, like, you'd finish work at 5 or 6, come home, then start YouTube till, like, 10 or 11. Like, so it was, like, very much... <clears throat> Like quite busy. So since having the capacity to go YouTube full time, like obviously I've been uploading a lot more and streaming a lot more, but it still feels like I've kind of got more time in my life back. So relative to what I was doing, I don't know. I feel like I've, I can, you know, wake up, work on a video and then go and get a coffee with my girlfriend or whatever, like quite easily now. Right. Whereas before it felt like I had like not, no time at all. So yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, fucking, you said you were working like 50 hours a week, right? Yeah, it was pretty nuts. The company I was working for was pretty demanding. Thanks for the sub, Doris. So I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, that's fucking crazy. 50 hours a week. I don't know what the average work time a week is. That probably varies from job to job, but... Yeah, um, yeah, it was like, it was, I, I liked my boss, but he did work, like, he was a, he's a good, he's still a friend, but he did work us oh. hard. Like, you'd be oh. rarely, rarely not doing a 10-hour day. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that, yikes. Yeah. I but mean, I mean, it had, it had its pros and cons, like, he was a good boss, like, there's no doubt about that, so. 
Yeah, that, that's always nice to see, like when um boys are friends with their boss because I I just have this um stigma when it comes to bosses. I... <laughs> <laughs> I could be yeah, wrong. Fair. I could be wrong. I guess yeah, that is that is a fair enough stereotype. No, no offense to any boss that's one. No, I I, I love you as as mouse, but you know. Some of you guys are big. Yeah, fuck you. This is what fuck Champy's you. trying trying to say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to subtly say fuck you. Yeah. You yeah. are pretty much say something. EOS is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyways, um, let's move on to the next question now. Besides, uh, you know, talking about bosses and whatnot. So, the Pelican. Why, why, why the pelican? Why such a, uh, I guess, kind of obscure bird, but it's not the most common one? I think the phrase you're looking for is majestic bird. Um, mm, mm, I know, yeah, like, maybe. Pelicans are probably one of the most beautiful creatures. Um, <laughs> God, God took seven days to make the earth, and he spent six and a half of those days designing the pelican. Like, they are. Mm. They are a beastly, wide wingspan, big build, just beautiful aquatic beast. Yeah, I, I can't. I don't know how to describe it. And then, of course, like no one likes arrogant birds, so modest pelican. <laughs> yeah, I, I love how it says that shit on your banner. That's just like so so silly, but I love it. No one likes an <laughs> arrogant uh, pelican. Well, thank you. I mean, ironically enough, one of like my past um usernames whacker kit and um oh, yeah. like, you can only guess i was a duck <laughs> so you know I, I i i i was once uh part of the uh furry bird now i'm a fucking yeah. shampoo bottle so you know like the um, interesting progression absolutely yes you know e evolution taught us that we went from chimpanzee to uh to humans but uh, in my case, evolution taught me that I went from being a dog to being an animate shampoo bottle. That's kind of, yeah. Uh, yeah. I like that. Keeping it's, people's it's, hair nice and clean and nourished. I mean, That's yeah. Sick. Yeah, I mean, if you want to pour, like, piss on your shit, yeah. I feel, like, I feel like that escalated quickly. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess, yeah, but you know, you can only guess with shampoo, it's a bottle full of piss. What did you think? Oh, right, I get you. I, I, okay, yeah, all right, I see how you got there, right, I'm with you, yeah. I'm with you. Okay, did you, th you, did you think I just had some weird, like, camp where I pee in my shampoo bottom? I don't know, you gotta do you. Like, yeah, I guess. I mean, you know, ge uh, Gecko over here. I've got a shampoo bottle fetish. It's it's just all over the kinks. Just got to embrace it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no kink shaming here. Obviously, I'm I'm not shaming Gecka. I I'm kink not shaming. Sh I'm not shaming myself, and I'm not shaming uh shaming your pelican kink. So thank you. No, it's a, it's a it's a safe environment. Absolutely. Yeah. We're all stunning and brave in our own ways. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, I do not have a fetish. Yeah, I keep covering it up with that bullshit. <laughs> keep covering it up. I, we all know you, you, you deep down have a king, like plants. I know you go to like your local Home Depot, you get a plant, you just, well, the rest is history. Too much for a YouTube class, so. <laughs> Jeez. We'll leave it at that. Like, I mean, who who hasn't um, given a hand job to a fern? <laughs> Let's be honest. What what, what we've, all, you, we've all been there. What what exactly do you stroke on it though? Just be creative. Ah, uh, everyone has their own way of you know getting it off. Exactly. I see. Fascinating. Fascinating. B Bunnings is the brothel. <laughs> Bunnings is the brothel. I, Bunnings I is like that. a uh, Bunnings is like a big a big like hardware store, but it has like a massive plant section. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> in, like in Australia. 
Gotcha. It's it's like our Home Depot essentially. Gotcha. Okay. I get it. I get yeah. it. Yeah. I, I I was that you know that joke kind of fucking whooshed over my head because I'm Australian. I get it. Now. Yeah, yeah. Geography jokes. <laughs> Geography jokes. God, you gotta love it. Funning. <coughs> it's, it's just the most the thing that stands out most to me about Australia. Not not the capital. Not not the fact that. You know, you guys say cunt all the time and all of that. The fact that you've got Bunnings Warehouse. <laughs> so you do know it. It's Yeah, it's iconic. Yeah, I mean, it's like the third thing on the list. But yeah, it is pretty iconic, I guess. Hell yeah. Anyways, big man, aside from having sex with plants and all of that kinky stuff, let's move on to the next question here. So... The um the whole you know stay hydrated meme where, where what what is the origin of it? you know you, you say it in practically every video every live stream everything where where does it originate? I think first and foremost it's just really good advice <clears throat> like yeah. it's a yeah <clears throat> like everyone could do with a reminder to stay hydrated but um Absolutely. I don't know I've got the I drink like obscene amounts of water. Like I don't know what's um like what's what's with it, but I just drink so much water. Like I've looked into Damn. why. Like was I like diabetic or something? Yeah, um, yeah. Like I couldn't figure it out. Like I just so I just smash it like crazy. Um, but I mean, I didn't <clears throat> obviously start the meme. I think it's been circulating for like you know years and years and years. I don't think I, I can't really credit it to one person though. I just sort of like. You know, there's whole subreddits called like Hydro Homies that are dedicated to staying hydrated. Like, oh so I just like, I was like, you know what? This is a cause I I can support and really become a part of. Right. It, it, you just um, you fucking. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's okay. You um, you know, you you felt a personal connection to it. I guess. Of course, yeah. I think it's just um. Yeah, it's become my sort of purpose in life. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, you got Je Jehovah's Witnesses trying to uh, spread the word of God, and then you've got you trying to spread the word of drinking water. It's great, honestly. Exactly. Thanks, man. It, no problem. I mean, it, it, fuck Jehovah's Witnesses. You're better. Sorry to any of the Jehovah's Witnesses out there, by the way. I'm sorry. It's all right. They're all too busy. Wearing the hats. Word of and... God. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, Sketch Screen, how's it going, man? How you doing? Yeah, but um. See, eight okay. eight happy pills has said that the reminders help him. He has literally five bottles next to him. That's all I can ask. Pretty fucking solid, man. I've got one empty bottle and the whole bottle next. So I'm, I'm Hell reaching yeah. over here. Um. Hell yeah. But you know, I I can relate to that as well, Jeff. I also drink a shit ton of water. But whereas, like earlier this year, I hardly drank any water. Um, and you know, because like I've I've got family history of um lots of people that have diabetes, so you know, it's a, it's a little concerning. Shit. I hope I'm not diabetic. Ah, uh, that didn't. Yeah, hopefully not. I mean. I didn't have any of the other things that make you diabetic, but that is what I call of drinking a lot of water, so... Yeah, yeah. I am really thirsty a lot of the time. Um, <clears throat> but I, I don't think I'm diabetic. I don't know what the other symptoms are. But I... Uh, <laughs> I sometimes pour water onto my piece to keep it hydrated. I mean, yeah. Hell yeah. I, I don't know how that works, considering it's electric, but... I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Exactly. I mean, I don't know if I'd pour water on my own computer, you know, but each their own, I guess, to each their own. I respect it, man. It's a hustle. It's a hustle. Anyways, Jeff, aside from pouring water on computers, next question here for you, big man, is so I've always found it interesting the way you uh you do your videos. Cause like record the gameplay first and then you do a narration over it it's not like you're commentating live as you play the game and um i was wondering how come how, how'd you come up with that style 
Um, well, like, I mean, the post, like, live commentary has been around for, I think, yeah, I started watching, like, X Jaws, like an old Call of Duty YouTuber who did that. Like, oh, he that's... made a, yeah. <clears throat> made, yeah. a, made a gameplay and then would do, like, a post live commentary of it. And I just, I always found that interesting. Um, I do like the live moments with, like, with friends, like, uh, right. the, say, the Misfits, the Misfits playing together. Like, I yeah. find that funny. But because I was like the only one of my friends doing a YouTube channel, it was always harder to do like interesting live commentaries. Like it was, they were okay, but um, I just found I could make a better video if I did like a post live launch commentary and, and less people were doing it. So, you know, it was a bit more unique to, to me. Like, and obviously again, like I definitely didn't come up with post live commentary, but let more people do the, the live stuff. So. No, I, I get you. I, I, <laughs> I, um, I guess what I was saying is like, um, you know, in my case, I've only seen you do it because maybe it's more of a thing of the past. Like, cause yeah, like you said, I see most people, you know, and I don't know, Jack's up the guy. <laughs> he fucking records the gameplay and his audio at the same time. That kind of shit. Yeah. Can be, guess... can be really good to watch for sure as well. Like it's, it, I guess it's just a preference there. I guess. Yeah. It's just like, um. So I guess this shit's more of a let's play. Makes more sense to do it like that. Like, who would yeah, do a let's right. play and not do it live? <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense, and your things are just like, um, you know, they're not let's plays, obviously. Um, yeah, I don't really know what they are. <laughs> just, yeah. I don't even know. Yeah. Game, gaming videos. That's it. That, that's the only way you can describe it. Oh um, yeah, I'll t I'll take it. <laughs> but you know, I I guess I just found it unique that you did that. I guess yeah, I, cool. I, I I um I I find it I I like it. You know, it's it's an interesting take on it because, I mean, when I did fucking gameplay, I would just down you know, open up a audacity in the game and record everything at the same time. Yeah, I and I think that's still. I I do want to bring some more live elements, especially with my friends. Like, there's yeah. some funny moments and stuff. I want to bring that into the videos, and that's something I'm trying to work on. But obviously, like sound quality, like they're just larrikins playing in their own right. Like, um, some of them, like Stealtho Robo and Stealtho Carbo, have started channels, as which is cool. And I'll definitely like when they get up and running, share them around and stuff. But um. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, just sort of like the way it happened. But I mean, yeah, I enjoy making them and people seem to enjoy watching them. So can't be mad. Yeah. <clears throat> um, It's like a TV series. I mean, yeah, I guess that's an interesting way of thinking about it. Yeah, like just some TV and narration. I mean, <laughs> hell yeah. Yeah, I like fucking, I don't know. Oh, uh, and here we have... Uh... Chloe just fuck this man some shit. I I don't know. Um just So you just want me to start narrating adult films. <laughs> uh fuck yeah. I mean why not? You know? It's... Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Backdoor Girls Volume 13. <laughs> if, you enjoy, if you enjoy this porno, please. <laughs> no, I won't go there. I but... mean, hey man. You know, fucking you just gotta compare like a Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship to a porno narration. See what makes you more. You know. See what happens. That business. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, but we get a Minecraft episode too. Wait, have you done a Minecraft? I did do one Minecraft video. Um, I could make another one. Maybe it. Maybe it's time. Well, what did you do? Just like survival with friends? Or... Yeah, exactly. Built a house. A lovely dirt hut, I bet. K killed some baby sheep. No, we made a little a wooden hut. It was pretty beautiful. Love to see that shit. I, it's so iconic when you see Minecraft Survival Episode 1 and all they do in the video is build a fucking shitty ass dirt hut. So great. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you liked it. Happy, happy pills. And the gecko over here is asking, "Why does your Pelly have a helmet and goggles?" I'm assuming because that's like you um, started off with Battlefield. 
can only make yeah have a pelican or gear on it's yeah it's it's funny how like when you look back on these things because obviously when i started i had zero subscribers and i wanted yeah. like wanted a logo so i was just like my girlfriend's done a bit of graphic design and i was like could you please make a, a pelican logo and then she was like sure and then she made it and i was like hmm maybe could you put like a helmet and some some goggles on it and she just like made this i don't even know how just so so quickly and then that's been my logo ever since <laughs> oh, your girlfriend made this that's pretty good yeah yeah it's pretty impressive huh you draw it from scratch um i'm gonna say i have no idea how she did it oh. i think it's just like i think it's just in photoshop using different images that she's like put together oh i see um, i got you or maybe added a filter to something i'd have to, i'd have to check yeah i would never change it now like i love that little fucker look at look at him with his little goggles and so adorable <laughs> I wonder how he looked without the helmet. I did tweet out how he looks without the goggles and helmet once. Oh yeah, Pretty, uh... that's so. Yeah, yeah. How long ago did you? Oh, I haven't seen. I'll put it. I'll send it to you on um, on Discord. Wait, will you, will you be able to get it on screen? Probably, probably not. Yeah, I could probably throw. Anyway, um, if I can find it quickly. Oh, link. Oh, yeah, here it is. There it is. Just put it to you on Discord. No, that's not it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that's not it, you fuck. That's it. No. He's one uh he's one wide boy. <laughs> no, if your girlfriend made this atrocity, uh, uh I made the one without the goggles and helmet. Oh, uh, it's I mean, I guess it's stunning in its own right, but God. <laughs> just I don't even know. I'm kind of. It's. Um. That's that's the that was the gull. For 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 those of you uh, watching, give a a brief description. He looks fucked out of his mind, like he's just smoked all the weed in the world, and he's got like this shitty brown hair on top. I don't know why pelicans don't have fucking hair. And <laughs> and. <laughs> He's like kind of disproportionate, I think. His head is kind of disproportionate, and that's really it. I mean, all around, it's. I'd, I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10. Well, 7 out of 10, that's pretty good. It's room for improvement, but it also, yeah. um, also, you know, a, a great result. So I can't be mad. Yeah, exactly. Will Pelly ever make another Discord server after the happened the last one. Oh yeah i remember you had a discord i was in it but i don't know if i left or something or uh well the, dis the, the discord server actually got deleted in the end um uh. just got a little bit spicy uh it was really it was great for a while but like gradually it became uh more and more i don't want to i don't know like there was still legends but I'd have new new members go to this um server and they'd get like harassed about being about their race or about about being autistic or something. Okay. And I just and I had a team team of mods, but like I, I I was like I had to delete it. It was like for the sake of like the channel. It was like this this beast of a Discord just grew. Like we had members who never even watched videos. Like the Discord was just growing by itself, like oh, organically. Okay. And I was like, this is this is losing control. So I was very sad to see it go, but um but it had to happen, you know, like my my hands were tied. I got you, yeah. I have a Discord server, but it's got a shit one of the Ah, your call. I mean mine was great when it was smaller because it was super manageable, but uh just yeah. gradually, yeah. I kinda um I kinda just have the Discord server up as a way for people to DM me because I don't have Twitter DMs open. I just don't want to have them open. Um, yeah, fair call. Cool. Yeah, so I just have my. Um, yeah, fair enough. Because like most people that have like wanted to, well, don't go busy. Oh, nice. You don't. 
above me at my worst. Yeah, you can link that for link that for the chat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Would I ever make another one? I don't think so. I think I've I think that ship sailed. I'm a part I'm a part of a few other discords where it's like not attached to my brand. Cause like it was just getting to the point where I'd have like kids um contacting me like really upset about what had been said to them. And then I'd every morning I'd wake up to like hundreds of well, probably not hundreds, but so many messages from people like telling me what had happened overnight and the drama that had happened. And I was like, I'm spending more time trying to manage this Discord, like hours a day. When I should be like making videos and streaming on Twitch and stuff. So I was just like, this is just crazy, not worth it anymore. I mean, it was definitely sad to see it go though. It was a good times, but they're very yeah. time consuming if you want them to actually Yeah. Yeah. I had great mods too. Like I had a great team of mods, but even they were starting to get like really worn out by it. Because you, mm. people just there was some really some real legends in there, but people would just be edgy for the sake of being edgy. Like they just try and push the boundary as much as possible. Like post just really fucked up pictures of like dead bodies. And you'd be like, uh, you'd ban, you'd ban them. Then they DM you being like, I'm so sorry. That was my friend. And then they'd start like a second oh discord and like God. revolt against you. Like at one point I had the whole discord server, like change their names to remod Kaiser. And Kaiser was this guy who like was flaming people. So I took away his mod status and I just thought, Oh my God, fuck this. Like, this is just, like, I love you guys, but I cannot be bothered. I get you. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, um... Oh, yeah, I, um... My old Discord server before this one... <laughs> How did that just, go? Oh, it went awful. I don't like... I, I've never spoken about it publicly. I'm not going to. I, I want to. I can tell you afterwards. Um... But, Fair enough. Yeah, it was, it was raided, and uh, I just because I was like, oh, everyone's adding me and uh, calling me like I don't remember what they used the exact insult, but just insulting me and shit. And I was like, oh, well, I mean, the server's kind of dead anyway, so I think I'm just gonna... yeah. Fair enough. I think I, I think the longer I've made content, like the more like immune you become to any kind of like people trying to like insult oh, you. Like it's always, it's just, yeah. it's just yeah. like quite, quite funny now. Yeah. And like I... when, when, yeah. Sorry, you go. Sorry. Um, I was going to say when I, when I was doing those exposing videos, I'm telling you about, like I had people telling me to off myself, telling me, you know, bag and what, whatever the hell, you know, just, just mean shit. And, yeah, yeah. Um, it, I like from the very beginning I, I kind of went into the content knowing that um you know like I was going to get shit cuz that's just the nature of the internet fortunately. Um, yeah, yeah. But I wasn't really affected by it. My my mom ironically enough was more affected for me than I was myself. <laughs> yeah. Cuz she, she would read the comment section and people were just saying a bunch of mean shit about me. However, um, there there was one time where, cause I I was such a spastic. I had my um my Facebook profile linked in the description of my videos. And that's ballsy. Uh, no, no, cause you see, I thought I thought um I had my Facebook YouTube page linked. You know, like the the channel page on Facebook. Yeah. But I had my own personal profile linked with my full name, my city, my, my birth date, all, all that shit. And so one day my mom wakes me up at like 8 a.m. And she's like, hey, you got to read this comment that someone left. Like they literally put your full name, your city, and said that they said that they were going to kill me and my parents and throw me in a dumpster. It, Jesus Christ! Yeah, it was pretty fucked up, and I yeah, and I read the on. comment, and I was like, "Oh yikes! What the fuck? How did they find out this information? Because this is like, they, yeah, <laughs> pretty personal. Yeah, you know. Um, and so I I got thinking, and I was like, "Oh fuck! Let me check the Facebook, and it was my profile, and I had had it there for months, 
and I was like, shit, I thought this was my Facebook page, not my profile, and I immediately got rid of it from uh, the channel descriptions, and uh, yeah, it was just, uh, it was uh, something, all right. My dad was like, hey, do you um, want me to call the cops? I'm like, I don't think that's necessary. I don't think they're actually going to do anything. Um, but someone who says something like that, like they're not, like this is one thing I noticed about um, about people who leave these comments. Because now like, you know, I've got to admit, like I just, it's mostly love. Like I get, you know, I've got such a legendary community. But of course you get those people who like send you death threats or whatever. Mm -hmm. And like they, they are never a normal person. Like they are always some like, fucking weird person like sometimes i'll click the name just out of like interest like pure fascination mm -hmm. of who who would write this stuff and yeah, you click yeah. it and it's like they're always so fucking weird or they're always like trying to start a youtube channel and i don't know there's, there's and they're just like so weird and you're like it almost like makes me feel like sorry for them in a way it's like right. yeah, look if, if you saying that you want to kill me makes you feel better then like at least i can offer you that <laughs> like just I stay guess. safe Stay hydrated, <laughs> like you miserable cunt. You yeah. know, I yeah, just I, almost feel bad. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like um. Well, and, and after that, I just blocked them, and that was the end. Um. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, like, why, why, why are you leaving these kind of comments? Like, does nothing. Like, yeah, you got me a little scared for a second, but after I blocked you, that that was the end of it. But what was the gain out of it? I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, it's like almost, it's almost the same as when people are in cars and they like they feel really tough in their car. Like once we were pulling out of a car park and this guy just started hurling abuse out his window and my girlfriend and mum were in the car and he was stuck behind us and we were like maybe taking a few extra seconds to turn out because of I you know I don't even remember. And I just got out of the car and just walked up to his driver's window and was like, what's going on? And he yeah. just did not say a word. As soon as it was like real for him, like as soon as it was like a real life encounter and I was standing there, he uh, just froze, couldn't even look me in the eye. But when we're in the car, he's like, fuck you, like by yelling out words. And it's like, that's just the internet in a nutshell. Like people in their animosity, like, you know, anonymity uh, uh, will say whatever uh, they want. Uh, but as soon as it like, becomes real, it's like, oh shit. <laughs> Exactly, yeah, exactly. They're like pussy ass bitches in real life, but behind the screen, yeah, they just got all the shit they want to. That's right, yeah. Yeah, my It's own. funny. It's it's often funny though. Yeah, I mean that comment wasn't particularly funny to read. It was kinda like, oh, uh yikes, this man might might be a little mentally, you know, fucked. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit far. I have a weird sense of humor though, like when when no, anyone no. that tries to yeah, I mean, no, really I, I, I have a fucked up sense of humor as well. Like, I, I like dark humor and that kind of shit, but... Yeah, yeah, I'm that's reading, a bit fun. When I'm reading my full legal name, my city, you know, all of this shit, it's like, oh, um, oh, well, uh... Ooh, what should I do? Uh, should I put out my window for a creepy man with a knife in his hand, or... What's going on here? But yeah, no, it was, um... It was certainly something, but yeah, nothing like that has ever happened again since then, thankfully. That's good to hear, man. Yeah. Also, back to um, like... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. I was yeah. going to say, Gekka, Gekka's asking uh, what you got into, what got you into YouTube. Oh, um, sorry. I was talking to Jeff here, so I, I, I saw your question, but I didn't answer it. Uh, what got me into it? Um, it just, uh, essentially, my friends were all starting YouTube channels. I was. They all started making Minecraft Let's Play. They were like, yeah, hey, hey Sue, you should get in. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, they were like, hey, hey Sue, you should get you should get into this. Um, it's pretty cool. And you know, I'm sure I'm sure you'll enjoy doing it. I was collabing with them, not not on my own channel, because I didn't have a channel yet, just making the videos with them, uh, playing Minecraft with them. And um eventually, after like months of convincing I was like, okay, fine, I'll do it. I'll start it up. And here we are all these years later. And ironically, I'm the only, I, I'm the last one that started, but I'm the only one that still makes videos. So, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 
yeah, it was pretty um pretty ironic. But yeah, that's that's what got me into it, friends. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Not much. I've got eight. Play, but yeah. Oh, no, it's classic Minecraft let's plays. That's where <laughs> most most heroes started. Absolutely, um, yeah. Eight happy pills asked, will Jeff ever make more videos with fans? Ah, uh, yeah, for sure, man. I do more Grand Theft Auto online. Like, I'd love to, um, I don't know, make like content with, um, uh, um, sorry, uh, just just two seconds. My girlfriend's just arrived and she needs to come in this. No, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Do you want to say hello? There's no film on. Hi. Hi, how's it going? How you doing? Okay, so I, I must have left locked to the front door and she was coming around. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, but no, I'll definitely do more videos with fans. Like, I'd love to get everyone in and do like a war or something like that. That would be really, really cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I, I know, um, cause like I, I mentioned to you earlier here, I was watching the VOD of, the, uh, of yesterday's live stream. Ed, and uh, yeah, you were like, um, well, you didn't end up playing with anyone. Like, yeah, you kept asking on X Bone. Yeah, you usually, usually everyone jumps in. So, I was, uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I don't. It have was a week. It was a week day. Yeah. No X Bone. No, I I have yeah. a a PS4 though. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I used cool. to have an X Bone a few years ago, but I just feel like it's such an obsolete concept. Like why? <laughs> True. Um, tactical penguin, what's he asking? Did you enjoy the tweets from hydration from Squid? <laughs> I did. That was very, very funny. He makes some yeah. some epic funny memes of hydration. Yeah. He did. Now nah, Squid Squid's a good YouTuber. I'm really happy to see him going back to like the just like fun, like taking the piss content. I reckon that's what I like. Most that he does, it's really good. I'm not familiar with him. Only who is that? Another friend of yours uh, or something? Yeah, like a, he's a Battlefield YouTube. Oh, he's a cool guy. That, that yeah, would explain why. You know, funny enough, I feel if you if you only made Battlefield content, I wouldn't give. I don't. I don't prefer Battlefield. Yeah, it's definitely like a closed off sort of community. Yeah. Oh, someone's asking yeah. me about your thoughts. On the new PlayStation Five, I'll probably get it. it. Yeah, I'll probably get it to be honest, especially if it has exclusives. Like, yeah, same here. Because I want to make content on like The Last of Us and stuff like that, but I I can't because of all the exclusive deals. So I, I think at this point I'll probably just get both consoles, so I can play with fans and like subscribers on as well more more easily on both consoles. I think the second Last of Us is coming out on the PS4, if I'm not Ah, cool. I think so, yeah. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is coming out on the PS4 February. Yeah, PC nice. PC too. Do you not have a gaming PC, Jeff? Not really, no. Gotcha. I mean, a lot of people... I, that's another one I've got to tick off, but... Well, I'll get there eventually. Do you just have, like, standard PC or... Of. just like a computer that i edit on and then another one that i stream on but i wouldn't really game on either one of those oh okay you're like it all it all gets run through the xbox so yeah i, I would find that interesting like people having separate over these like oh this one's gaming this, <laughs> this one's for for editing but not i don't really know why i've done it that way but i have <laughs> so yeah what it is because, like, I, I have, well, my, my thing isn't, well, yeah, I, I guess it's a, but, like, I built it, um, um, and I just use the same PC for everything. I can't see myself having another PC for, for a specific activity. Yeah, fair enough. It, it's also not cheap to have PC, especially when they're built and, like, components fuck up, Oh. Uh, just a fat chunk of money coming out of my pot or my dad's pocket to help get new components. Yeah, right. Ah, uh, look, I I couldn't be bothered with it at the moment. Um, trying to build a PC and all that kind of stuff. But that's fair. I it seemed pretty daunting when I first built uh, a PC, but after I built the second one, 
even though the second one came out more botched <laughs> than, than the first one. Um, it's not really that hard, actually. Uh, you'd think it's like some really complex shit, but but it does take a few hours to build a piece. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Also, all my all my all my mates are on Xbox. Like, we've got a really good crew uh, of friends, and it's, and it's how I do like. You know, they. That's how I like a lot of my social life because I've moved away from where I grew up and stuff is through Xbox. So it's, it'd be hard to leave them. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, in cases like that, yeah. But like, uh, for instance, all of my friends play. PC. Well, except, except one of them, he plays on the, like, talk on, phone. Uh, building a yeah. PC is like Lego now. It took me one and a half hours. One and a half hours? Seriously, that quick? Oh, my mine didn't take me that that short uh, amount of time. Mine probably took I don't know, like definitely upwards of three hours. Maybe maybe my dad and I, which is slow. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe uh, it's a, definitely a daunting task. That's for sure. Yeah. And not not that that daunting, but if you're going in blind, yeah, it can be like, oh, yikes! What am I? You That's scan right. Korean popular. <laughs> K-pop. Yeah, K K K pop is what gets me through the day, to be honest. Oh yeah, John Cook, loveless. Uh, BTS, oh, <laughs> cream my pants. Nothing like a like a sing star session with a bit of K pop. That's uh. <laughs> Fucking classic. I love it, yeah. But uh, on a serious note, no, I've I've never even listened to K-pop. Is it, is it even any fucking good? Why do people stand it so hard? I don't know. It's got like a real following. I think I just do it for the the memes now more. Than anything, though. It, it's got like a really cult following. It's kind of scary, actually. It's it's like, oh god, like oh, in. BTS Twitter is just insane. Just mental. They need help. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's just my take. To be honest, it's really bad. Can't understand. I mean, I would assume. Korean or being English? I really don't know. I've never. Also, Jeff is on is on mute at the moment. Case you. Well, uh, I'll I'll chat with you lads here. They sing in Korean. Ah, oh, okay, that that explains. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that makes sense as to why you can't understand anything. If they were singing in English. K-pop is not bad on one hand, but on the other, it's kind of, kind of, oh, too much for my brain to process. Welcome back, Jeff. Sorry, man, I had a, a technical difficulty for a sec. Oh, okay. Well, glad you're back. I'm back. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I don't know. I mean, K-pop, yeah, it's on my, my IQ level. I'm, I'm too stupid to it. Yeah. Yeah, you you need a high IQ to listen to K-pop. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that Rick and Morty copy pasta. Replace every time they say Rick and Morty with K-pop. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But yeah. Anyways, aside from standing John Cook, let's get back to the questions, big man. So <laughs> let's do it. Next question I had for you here was so as um still did battle content mainly i wouldn't watch you but you know thankfully you branched out that's why we're here today and when when did that process of branching out actually start um i still really love battlefield like i still think it's a great franchise and like there's you know i really like the community or most of the community anyway um yeah but but I, i just felt like i'd made like every battlefield video i could think of and like if i kept trying to make those kind of videos it would have just started to get incredibly repetitive like 
I'd made nine types of players and the different types of campers and the assault class in a nutshell and all this sort of stuff. Like, and the even though Battlefield Five came out and it was a new game, like for my kind of content, it was basically the same game. Like, I wasn't so. I just it just felt like exactly the right time to start, you know, branching out and trying trying new things. So yeah, right. Oh, um, Gekka asked this earlier, but I'll to ask you. Have you been noticed by fans, Pelly? I assume he means, like, in person, but I don't know. Well, in person, the first time I was noticed was when I had, like, 15,000 subscribers. So, like, quite a small channel. And I was in a, a small supermarket um, just talking on, on the phone to my friend. And I hadn't yeah. even shown my fa my face yet. I don't think uh, on the channel or, or maybe one one video like very rarely right. and and someone just recognized me from the voice the cashier he was like hey bro do you do youtube and i was like yeah he's like are you modest pelican i was like yeah he's like oh i love your shit and i was like oh thanks man <laughs> oh you're not like oh shit hold on my fucking earbud fell out you're not like one of those people that plays it off like oh no i don't do YouTube because i know a lot of people do that shit because they don't like to be not. Look, I was so surprised about being recognized. Like, I just didn't even think that was on the cards um, <laughs> at, that, at that size. That I just was, like, so, such a genuinely, like, surprised reaction to it. Right, um, right. But since then, I've only been recognized when I go to, like, gaming conventions. Yeah. Right, right. And, I mean, that in itself is, like, because I guess the channel's only really grown this year. I went to the Ubisoft um, Rainbow Six Siege. No, it was just the Ubisoft experience, actually. Right. Um, but I played, I played in like a Rainbow Six Siege charity match up on a stage. Oh, and wow. like, I guess I had no expectations. Like, it was really fun. Like, there was good memes. It was just all, it was all fun. And then after I stopped playing, like, there was like a queue of people like wanting to like meet me and take photos with me. And that was like probably the first time ever I was like, holy shit. Like, this is, it's so, it's so different seeing the numbers on a page. Than seeing like people in person and i was just like Absolutely. whoa like what the fuck and so like just having a chat with these guys who liked the videos and like that was probably one of the coolest experiences i've had being a content creator yeah i feel like people um when, when you get big enough you kind of like start losing sight of that numbers are actually people and not just a number and and when you think about it that, that kind of fucks you up like damn Nearly 400,000 people around the world subscribe to me. Or in my case, over 3,500 real people are subscribed to me around the world. That's kind of like, what the fuck? Crazy. It's, it's amazing. And, it, and that in itself is so like humbling. You've got to, like, I appreciate like the support and I can respect like how like it's just amazing that that many people are taking the time to watch the videos. But Absolutely. it definitely is, like, on a whole new level, like, meeting the people. Like, that's why I like Twitch streaming, because I get to actually talk to these people live who are making, um, you know, who are watching my videos. Um, but, yeah, then you, like, elevate that again in person. So I'd love to do more stuff where I, like, organize to meet up with, you know, fans. We can all just have a beer together or, like, a drink of water <laughs> yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I, I used to be one to, like, Show my face, but as of recently, I don't know why, since I've kind of gotten, I guess, um, unadjusted to showing my face. Like, I'm not used to it. I, um, like, every video with my face in it, taking them down, because I guess, um, I don't know. Nowadays, I'm just more comfortable with using my voice, and that's it. And, well, you know, if I ever hit an important milestone, I can milk the, oh, face reveal video thing. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I was weird about showing my face as well. But then eventually I was, you know, I wanted to just became like, I think, appropriate. Like for streaming, it's always better when they're, you can see their face. I think I prefer to see the person anyway. I get that. Yeah, I, I can yeah. definitely agree with that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. In, in cases like this, I mean, it depends, you know, if you've got two face cams for the friend, you know. But, um, you know, like, if they're playing a game, I do definitely, I tend to enjoy it more when there's some sort of patch to it. Yeah, I think so, too. Unless I just find the person really interesting. 
you know, stick around even have a face cam. Yeah, cool. At PAX next year, Pelly, you must come and bring plant. I'll come and find you. Find you. <laughs> um, I do want to go to PAX next year. I'm not sure if I could bring the plant on a plane, but I'll. I could try. <laughs> I'd probably die. Yeah, you just know he's gonna whip out his. <laughs> just know he's gonna do that. That's sicko. Yeah. Oh no. I love how much you've just been like harassing Gecker about molesting plants. Like <laughs> molesting, it's like, can't, well, it's not even molesting because they can't even consent. But then it's just—is it just assumed consent? I mean, I don't know. This is getting into a gray area. We should transition yeah, topics. Okay. Yeah. I mean, aside from raping plants, let's get into the next <laughs> question. Here. So, All right, he said the hard R. You went there. The hard R. Whoa! If if this gets clipped out of context, people are gonna think I said the N word. Oh yeah, true. Do you know how bad you've just made me look? This is awful. This is awful. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh you know clearly what I'm. You know very well. Anyways, so why 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 did you actually? Uh, to start branching out from Battlefield into, you know, a wide variety of games you play nowadays? I really believe as, like, a content creator or a streamer, you have to be enjoying what you're doing. Like, that's mm -hmm. just so, so, so crucial. And that will just translate into your videos and into your uploads and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So, so with Battlefield, like, I still love the game, but I was feeling like burnt out with the content i was making like right. i could not yet but i like i made this video like five types of campers or something and someone was like is this a re-upload like it was so it's so similar to one of your other videos and i was like he's and I, I knew that i was like he's right like i've kind of i'm out of like jokes and out of um ideas for battlefield like i love this game but like i've made like 120 like i've even made videos of like comparing battlefield to a girlfriend and like like i don't know every single idea like i could think of with a battlefield video that i just i just felt like the right time to transition um right so i still love the game and i still definitely want to be streaming battlefield and making videos on it because i do have a lot of battlefield fans and like i really respect the people who like you know supported me when i was smaller like i would never just completely abandon it and i do i do go back and make battlefield videos and it feels like really nostalgic but in terms of like the channel, it just felt like the right time to yeah branch into a different things. Yeah, it was it was definitely the same or similar for me with uh, the like I meant. Yeah. Um, but you know, I, I felt like it was time to do something else from interviews analysis. Yeah, um, and I think that was a good transition for you. Like, I really like the analysis content. So. Thank you. I um. I I I I don't know because like you, you know how YouTube tends to favor longer content like oh ten minute juice mark, um, but like you know all of my analysis videos are five six minutes. I don't know if if that's a good or bad thing. Honestly, I don't know if I because I I can't physically write enough to make a video ten minutes and I um because I I have scripts for obviously. Um, uh, I, oh look it's no no secret that um going over 10 minutes is is a lot better that's yeah. that yeah that's just how it is i mean i try and shoot for my videos to be like around 12 or 13 minutes like roughly but um because that means that if there isn't enough content i can take out like the boring parts and right. still have it over 10, 10, 10 minutes. Whereas I feel like if I was shooting for 10 minutes, I might feel like I was like st stretching a video, which I wouldn't want to do. I always want to be like trying to make sure it's like a good, good package. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like, that's why I'm, yeah, most of mine are around 12 minutes, I think, 13 minutes. Yeah. You got to love it when like there's one that leaves. Like, ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, well, yeah. What if that was just a coincidence, huh? I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's, I'm, I'm sure it's happened sometimes. But yeah, you got to play, you got to play the game. Like you got to enjoy making content, but you've got to also, like, if you know, 
you want to make it a career and you want to make sure people are seeing your content like it's just about you know making those smart decisions really yeah absolutely like um, we talked about before before this interview censoring swearing like oh yeah i didn't i didn't want to do that really like i think i you know i'm against that but um i think censoring swearing is like super important thing to do so yeah it's just uh the unfortunate reality for the algorithm yeah like your stuff my stuff was getting absolutely walloped when i was wasn't doing it so is what yeah. it is yeah but um i i don't know i uh sometimes honestly i find censored curse words to be funnier because <laughs> you just hear this loud beat word like it, it's kind of silly yeah um, i get that see you gecka all the best man oh take care man see you um i gonna say oh do you i, I was gonna ask this earlier but do you um do you have scripts for your narrations i assume you do because if you that shit off the cuff mad <laughs> no i do they are scripted like pretty okay. at least at least some pretty like heavy notes like um i wouldn't uh very rarely just wing like more than like 50 words at a time mm. and then yeah yeah because we could be saying... like at least like 70 percent off like very scripted okay. if not more yeah gotcha yeah because i was about to say if you do all of that off the cuff that's some mad respect for you i cannot for the life of me do off the cuff shit i have to have a script and just like for the sake of like making it sound more professional as well like as well yeah yeah like when I'm, when when in the moment when we're playing i'm like i think i know what i'm gonna say but just being able to write it down and make make sure you articulate it properly and stuff but i, I like i said i do want to have some more live chilled out stuff in there as well that's something i'm going to be looking to do pretty soon i think do a video with no scripts so we can... oh, was that directed at me or at jeff i don't know who I just both answer it. What do you, what, would you ever do one? Um, I wouldn't trust myself. But I think um, I would just stumble. Cause I'm, I don't know why I get like anxious before I record a script. It's really weird because it's just me talking into a microphone. But it, it's fucking weird every time I get it. Um, but that's fair enough. Yeah. Even then, if I'm reading up off a script, I notice that um i still fuck up a lot of sentence not intentionally obviously I, I just like you know i sometimes i'll talk too fast and fuck up a word or two low or you know i'm like fucking swallowing saliva because i haven't had a drink of water after for a while so it kind of fucks up um my uh pacing i guess yeah no i don't but yeah he said the question was for you but we can answer well there's my answer now oh, jeff can answer. true um well i mean all the q a videos I've done are completely off script that's just like very like authentic like i'm not scripting any of that um as far as like a whole video i do like i said i definitely want to start bringing in like like for example a grand theft auto video where i narrate some of it but then it like goes to us doing like the bank heist or whatever and there is just some of those live moments because i think like you know stealth omato and crosby and stuff are really quite funny um and i'd love to cap capture some of that but i think yeah that's just it's like there's a few logistical things behind getting that right but yeah i could do yeah like i said the q a videos are probably the most completely unscripted content i've done that makes sense, yeah. I mean, yeah. where is this AI feel? Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Uh, well, I don't censor my shit. Is it bad later on when I might be getting my earnings from uh, Because I'm not much into I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, ironically enough, I swear a lot in these interviews. Uh, I just naturally swear a lot. I can't help myself. Um... These interviews don't get demonetized in before this one gets demonetized because I said this shit. Um, but I swear a lot here and, and never get demonetized. So I, I don't know, man. I don't think you have to. 
Because even like, in the analysis videos, I've sweared a few times and nothing is. Yeah. I find it's like dependent on the um, on the channel a bit as well. Like, yeah. I've just noticed that if I censor swearing, I have a lot more success with videos being suggested and likeliness of monetization. And that's just like my own personal experience. Like it's almost, dare I say, black and white with me censoring or not swe- censoring. So it's quite an easy decision for me. Right. But like, yeah, like Shampi just said, um, uh, like, yeah, I guess it's, yeah, not, not that that's not like a, a blanket rule. Yeah. I mean, then again, YouTube is very vague. So it's not like you're going to read the. Oh, I understand. No. Not at all. That's right. Yeah. You'll, be, you'll be just as lost. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Can Minecraft episode 2 be made with no. Can it? Um, if I. Yeah, I mean, I could do less, less scripting and just see how it turned out. Uh. Or just do some of that, yeah, those live moments with the um, with the lads. That could be really cool as well. Yeah, well, so I'll just see, see, see how it pans out. Yeah. Oh well, a big gun. But uh, yeah. Anyways, aside from uh, really you, Minecraft script. Next question for you here, big man. So do you have any particular game that favorite and least favorite to or? or- I think my favorite would be Grand Theft Auto with the boys. Like, that's just, uh, like, it's such a fun game. Like, I've got to say, I reckon, like, in my opinion, Rockstar just, you know, they just hit home runs with their games. Like, they're so good. And with Grand, the way Grand Theft Auto Online's panned out, it's just so much fun to play with mates and so fun to make content on, with. Like, so, yeah, definitely be Grand Theft Auto. I had the biggest hate book. That game such a long time <laughs> why is that oh it's got a whole story story that so buckle in jeff so um right. essentially um you know i had these two friends right and uh, these two friends did not get along with each other at all um and so you know i had more of a friendship with one over the other and the other one, the one that I had a closer connection to, he always wanted to play GTA Online. Oh. Wait, what happened? Why, why did he disconnect from the call? <laughs> Jeff? Jeff? What happened? He's gone, guys. Not sure. Said not sure. Jeff? Hello? Hello? Have you got me? Oh, there we go. Hello. What happened? I call him here. I'm not sure. Oh. Um, anyway, I'm back now. Is that... <laughs> yeah, that was just so random. I was like, what the fuck? Why do you leave? Um... <laughs> interview over. No, I'm yeah, back. An, an interview over, everyone. That's it. Um, no, but what what I was saying is, um, oh, I'll, I'll keep. That no, going. I'm I I'm here, man. You were just talking about um, uh, you why you hate GTA Online. A little few, yeah. Okay. Um. So what I was saying is that so that's fine, Jeff. We're, we're almost um. So. I, uh, you know, it's essentially since I was spending more time with the, uh, my friend that wanted to play GTA Online and not my friend who wanted to play CSGO, um, my friend who wanted to play CSGO, um, I, I guess he was kind of, I don't know, peer pressuring, trying to convince me to, to talk to my other friend to and work out a solution. Yeah, so, you know, one night we all hop into a call and um, get into like argument. My friend who likes GTA Online starts fucking crying. Um, is like, I, 
It's not even because I'm going in on him. Oh no, I guess you should answer the question. Jesus. He didn't like being co confronted. It, it, we, were, we weren't even being that, like, confrontational. I don't know. It, it, it's kind of hard to tell without telling this whole, like, long story. I'm just trying. And that, then, are you doing great? And then fucking, um, gets mad at me because my other friend died. He blocks me. <laughs> and we, fucking my other yeah. friend got involved. Now he talked to me about it. He got, like, kind of pissy at me. And, uh, yeah. Next day, uh, we involved it all. And my other friend, he fucked off from the friend group. That's it. And, uh, I, I had the big tape boner for GTA Online. For that reason. It sounds like you all need to go to your freezer, get some ice cubes out, put them in a tall glass, pour some tap water over the top, and just have a yeah, big sip of iced water. That's not about Ironically yeah. enough, I'm not friends with them. I wanted to play time anymore. <laughs> okay. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. But anyways, aside from, uh, you know, fucking friendship and burning bridges, only got one last question. Yeah, big man. So Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. For this upcoming year, for this new decade, what are, what are your plans for the channel? The year, not, not the decade. Probably the decade. Yeah, what are your life plans? Um, for the next year, I, I just want to keep, like, honestly streaming and making content. Um, I definitely want to like think of some, I've got some new like ideas planned for next year. Um, nothing really confirmed, but maybe like, uh, I get like a, a gaming news segment once a month where I just talk about like what's been happening in the gaming world. Okay. But obviously I just like take the piss out of everything. Like it wouldn't be that serious. Right. Right. Uh, and then also I want to start bringing into the narrated gameplay, like some, some uh, live moments with the lads so it's like just a bit um bit different i think that could be really cool and then also just like doing some chat like some long charity streams i think that was always a goal of mine is to one help smaller cr content creators who i think are like good people and who are making great content and two just like um literally charity like i by that i mean like raising money for like funds and um for like you know something like hydrating africa or raising money for homeless people or war veterans. Like stuff, something like that, I think would be really rewarding. Those and a really good some, thing to do. Those are some yeah. very nice and Thanks, man. That's nice of you to say. What about oh, you? Man. What do you what are your what are your plans for your channel? Oh. Um Ooh, putting me on the spot here, Jeff. Damn. The interviewee becomes the interviewer. Yes. Um, wait, don't you mean the interviewer becomes the interviewer? I guess either, either way works. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah. No, um, I, I don't know, actually. Um, making the analysis videos. Hope my channel goes somewhere. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's really it. It's not like I have some grandiose plan. Honestly, it's just pretty simple shit. Just keep doing what I'm doing nowadays. Keep working hard and hope for the best. Hell yeah, man. Well, that's like, that's the, that's the play. Well, hopefully this interview, like I'll obviously direct some of my subscribers here. Cause yeah, I reckon you're making awesome content, man. I reckon it's definitely ahead of its, ahead of where you're at. And I, I really think, you know, people would enjoy watching it. So. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. For me. I, I, I oh, always, God. I always feel so humbled when a content because it's just so weird. Like, person that i'm watching likes my shit so, so weird to me like, what the fuck I, I i will never be able to wrap my head around i think it, that feeling won't go away like i i sometimes just can't believe how many people watch my stuff like it's just it is incredibly humbling and like yeah i just feel so grateful for that like you're just you know you make a video and people support it and share it and, and it's just yeah, it is amazing feeling yeah, and also of course of regular subscribers. I don't. I didn't want to sound like I. Oh fuck it! I only care about content. like my shit. No, I also very much care about. Regular. 
Yeah, exactly. Of course. But yeah, well, I mean, that concludes the interview, man. Thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Oh, dude, it's been my pleasure. And thanks for everyone who stopped by live. Uh, it's good to see you. See Hell you all yeah. Here. Thank you all so much as well. I'm glad we were finally able to do this. Uh, you know? You, you, you yeah, kind of just, just pulled in out of nowhere, man. Just followed me on Twitter and yeah. We went from well, there. I've, I've got this Excel document of like, um, of things that I need to like do so I never forget. And just, yeah, with, when I was juggling the full-time work and YouTube, I didn't have much time. But then I've just been, like, trying to stay on top, like, get back on that list of just little things that I think of, like, as simple as, like, updating a channel banner or updating the links or something, like, all this sort of little stuff. And, I, yeah, I'd made a note of just, like, wanting to do something with you. And I've been watching your content. It's been popping up for me. So I was like, ah, oh, now I've got time. I should definitely reach out to, to Shampi or Jesus. Oh, okay. Oh, that's smart, yeah, because uh, most people will... um. <laughs> probably just forget to be honest yeah, yeah. <laughs> Any, anyways let, let's let, let's wrap it up then so thank you everyone so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you have you can feel free to drop me a like sub uh follow me on twitter champy yt follow jeff on twitter as well modest pelican join me in the discord server down below and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all I can really say. Thank you everyone once again very much. See you all next one. Take care. Goodbye. And stay hydrated, thank you cunts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> thank you, legends. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.